What's going on, gamers? Today, we are going to go over how to manually install mod packs to a Minecraft server. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all future videos. We have a ton of mod packs to choose from in our server panel, but if you run through the list and you can't quite find what you're looking for, you're going to have to download and install the pack manually to your server files. It seems daunting, but it's really quite easy to understand, so let's go over how to do it. While most mod packs can be installed on a computer and played, these same packs can't be used on the server a majority of the time. In some cases, there is a separate server pack download that removes unnecessary client mods and files for a smooth server installation. There are a ton of ways to find mod packs, so let's go over a few. If you're using CurseForge, head to the CurseForge mod packs page and then find your desired pack. At the top of the page, press files, and then you can scroll down to see all of the versions and find and click the desired version that includes a server pack. On the next page, scroll down to additional files and then press the three dots to the right hand side and choose to download the file. Save the file to a safe location because we will need it again later. For Technic, you're going to want to visit the Technic website and press browse mod packs. Find your desired mod pack and then click to open it. And towards the right hand side of the page, press server download. If you don't see that, you can also visit the mod packs website to get the files. And if you don't see either of those options, you might have to use a different launcher or download and use the Technic app. Like before, save this file to a safe location. For AT Launcher, first, of course, download and configure AT Launcher. Once that's open, you can enter the Packs tab and then find your desired mod pack. And then you can press the Create Server button and follow the prompts to create your server. Afterwards, visit the Servers tab and click Open Folder under the new pack and keep this folder open to use in a moment. For Void's Wrath, go to the Void's Wrath mod pack website, find your desired pack, and then scroll down on the page and click the download the server pack button. Like all the other options, move this zip file into an easily accessible location. In some cases, you are going to have to compile the necessary mod pack files before they can be uploaded to the server. This is going to be necessary for AT launcher packs or mod packs that are not found online. Access the location of the mod pack files and then highlight the mods and config files as well as any important mod pack files. Using a program like 7-Zip, you can zip the folders and add an easily identifiable name and keep this zip file nearby. Head to your Apex server panel and stop the server, and then scroll down to the game file section and make sure the server is running a version of Forge or Fabric to match the mod pack. After this, you can enter the FTP file access on the left hand side, log in, and then here you can delete any existing mods or config folders. Now, in order to upload the mod pack zip file, you're going to need to make use of either our panel's web FTP file access or a third-party program like FileZilla for the bigger files. For more information on how to use this, you can visit our tutorial that I'll have linked down below. Enter the FTP file access from your server panel and log in, and in your main server directory, press upload in the top left. Drag and drop your mod pack zip file into the right-hand side and once that's 100% done, you can press back to return to the main server directory. Open your external FTP program and connect to your server. And once you're connected, you can enter your necessary server profile and drag and drop the mod pack zip file into this directory to begin uploading. Once that's done, you can log into your panel and head back into the FTP file access. In that FTP file access, locate your mod pack zip file and select it, and then press the unzip button in the top right of the page. Once this is done, you're going to want to return to the main server directory and make a note of the folders that are there. If this is done correctly, the mods, config, and any other folders should now be found. This means that you can exit the FTP file access and restart the server. Now, depending on the mods installed, you might also need to adjust the level type. 
This can be done by entering the config files tab, followed by server settings. Change the level type field to anything that you need, save the changes, and don't restart the server just yet. Return to the main panel and scroll down to the change world button, and then follow the prompts to create a new world. Once you've done that, you can restart the server one more time. If you're having problems using the web FTP, then your files might be too big. Since mod packs tend to be larger and have tons of files, we recommend using an external FTP if you're having any problems with uploading. If your server is crashing when you start the game, make sure that the server is running both the mod loader and the version to match your mod pack. If your pack is running Forge 1.12.2, then running Fabric or any other version is going to cause a crash. If you can join the server, but you don't see any mods present, this is generally an issue with either the mod loader or the location of the mod files. First, make sure you've set the server to run the necessary version of Forge or Fabric, and make sure that the mods jar files are located inside of the mods folder. Once these changes are made, restart the server and try again. It can be a bit confusing the first time around, but after a while, you'll be able to install your own mod packs with ease. Don't forget to check out our mod pack list first though, because you might be able to skip these steps altogether if you can find your pack in our list. That's all for this one, and as always, I hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.